Pancake Cuts now. You stop reaching us. Let's go. It's your way Crypto Millie. I'm back with another one. Guys, the, the, look. I'm call I put this in my Patreon, right? I, I'm, I'm cautious, but I'm not scared, right? Scared money don't get no money. All right. Now, at the end of the day, you know, pro please, please practice proper risk management because we, we, are, we are on the cusp. Some important sugar honey iced tea stuff that's going across the world, but uh, let, let, let's neither here there. All right, let's keep it positive. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin DeFi, guys. I think Bitcoin DeFi is going to print some millionaires, and what better than to get into it early, right? Now, we got the runes protocol, I don't want to say protocol, right? We got the runes, uh, token standards, and, and the things that's coming out. So, right now, you want to start to do your research and kind of front run these narratives, all right? So, today's video, I want to be talking about some BRC20 plays that I'm looking at, infrastructure plays, right? Of course, the BRC20 um, narrative is still a bit high risk, right? We, we've, we've got burnt before with the BR. Look, we, we look. You win some and you lose some, right? But I'm, I'm extremely interested in this narrative because of the potential of Bitcoin DeFi, right? Bitcoin transcends digital gold, right? Because of the opportunity that L2s are allowing BTC as far as scalability, innovation, and utility, right? You, you can't scale gold, right? I'm getting my lawn cut, so if y'all can, if y'all hear that, Bear with me. You, you can't you can't really scale gold, right? You can't build on top of it, right? You can't build an app on gold. But with the emergence of these Bitcoin L2s, you will be able to build on top of Bitcoin. And why is that important? Guys, Bitcoin has the most liquidity out of any ecosystem in crypto, right? So you want to be a part of the chains that have the most liquidity, all right? Now, it's nothing wrong with front running a chain that you think that has potential, right? But the whales reside on the chains that have the most liquidity. That's why I'm extremely interested in, in, in getting J5s on, in some way inside the Bitcoin ecosystem, right? And in impossible ETH, ETH down the way. Right, let's get into these um these plays, though. Make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and keep your favorite crypto and daughter to entrepreneur inside the algorithms, right? Consider the community project. Consider the Discord and the private Patreon. I just updated some 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 new sauce, some new sauce. All right, so um, let's let's get into the first cryptocurrency project, which is B5 Labs, right? Now, why do I like B5 Labs? Well, I like infrastructure plays, right? And B5 Labs allows you, right? It's kind of like the Jupiter, right? The Jupiter or the Radium. If you ever use Solana and you use a swap, that's, that's what this is, right? It allows you to simply trade cryptocurrency, right? It's an exchange, a Bitcoin exchange, right? It looks kind of like GroveX, right? But what separates this from other uh, swaps on Bitcoin is this allows you to connect your MetaMask, right? You can connect your MetaMask, you can connect your Phantom, right? And you can do seamless swaps, Um the bridge is not built out yet, but it's okay. I got a bridge token for you guys a little bit later in the video. But I think that this is needed when you think about um, how hard it is, right, to buy some of these 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 Bitcoin tokens, right? You want to be a part of this this ecosystem because liquidity will come here, developers will come here, and DeFi will come to Bitcoin, right? And um, I think BFI Labs is, is looking kind of it's looking kind of juicy, right? It hasn't pumped yet, right? This thing has a huge amount of marketing and social engagement but we haven't really seen the pump since it was released this is a new token sitting at around 20 um what's it 210 million fdv and a 12.9 million market cap right so we know when we look at this supply here right, okay the fdv is 56 i was looking at the supply my apologies i make mistakes too all right 56 to fdv so much more potential than we originally um noted and i knew that was that was kind of wrong when i thought about it because i was like i just did research on this you know i've been doing research on this for a while so guys my lawn mayor's, my man is cutting my lawn please excuse the noise all right so we know when we look at the supply 210 this the, the 10 million um, max supply here that this thing can run based on supply and demand right and let's say a flock of people start using b5 labs right to trade their tokens kind of like crow kind of like uh, we've seen from Binance, kind of like we've seen from these other exchanges. You probably will start to see this. This is technically like an exchange, right? 
let's go parabolic, right? And it's it's for for Bitcoin tokens, right? And of course, we're starting to see a lot of these Bitcoin tokens be multi-chain, and we'll get into that a little bit later in the video. I like BFI Labs. I think it's an interesting play, right? I don't really get into these exchange type tokens, but I think this one has potential because it's still early and not a lot of people are using it. Look, we are like two or three days away from the Bitcoin halving cycle. I don't understand why people are so bearish. Like I get we got macro wins, but every time I look at the, the market, it is showing strength. So um, I'm, I'm cautious, but I still got hope, baby. I still got hope. Go follow B5 Labs. I'm not doing deep dives into this. I want you guys to go do your research, but I think that this um, has potential, right? And they, they also have the uh, the bridge coming soon. So check out B5 Labs. Uh, we really get at this in a four-hour chart because we don't have much information. Four-hour chart looks like it's peak bearish. It wants to start a reset. Not just there yet, but it's good to see B5 Labs here building out a floor right building out a floor and this thing is only sitting at a 12 million dollar mark cap you got to think about how high a lot of these bitcoin plays will be when btc hits well over 100k right our next project i want to talk about is bvm now this is not a layer two right this is a layer two hub that allows you to build layer two, right? Um, build, build layer two is utilizing modular technology, right? So a couple of the, the key buzzwords that we know that's going to send in crypto. This thing blasted out of our buy zone. We was able to load up in our block, buy zone and now it's sitting at $5.35 with less supply than Bitcoin at 11.90. This thing, in my opinion, could be a sender i still think savm satoshi vm could be a sender but um i got my eyes and my attention here on bvm right and i really really like this token because again um you can see they just updated their their website again and now they're talking about um runes right so um rune chain a uh, Bitcoin layer two that scales Bitcoin for rude trading. It's made for massive adoption with the rock bottom um, average transaction fee and nimble one second block time. So these layer twos are bringing down the uh, transaction fees on Bitcoin and it's bringing up the transaction speed. Pump, pump, pump it up. BVM is going to be a sender. Every time I go to their website, no kizzy. These guys got an update or something new on their website. So I'm a real big fan of BVM. I am a holder of BVM. Full transparency. I actually hold B5 Labs too. So I hold both of these tokens. I think that this is going to be insane, guys. Absolutely in freaking insane, guys. So check out BVM. The network, the solutions, they got Bitcoin Layer 2s for AI. Bitcoin Layer 2s for GameFi. Bitcoin Layer 2s for DeFi and SocialFi. All can be built utilizing bvm technology it's the number one hub if you work as a developer if you're working to build a layer two is this is this is it right they already got projects out there proven projects guys and you know in the patreon when i do my research we we definitely like to see what what some of these things are are, are, are being talked about on twitter right we, we we love to know what people are talking about a project right from the social engagement so that's another little um nugget i want to get um give to you guys right um, just to do your research, right? Try, try to uh, like, you know, you know, check the sentiment, right? Bitcoin virtual machine is the first modular blockchain meta protocol that lets you customize your launch, your modular Bitcoin L2 blockchain with top of the line modules, including roll up data, availability, uh, that modules, NFTs, etc., etc., um, offering a new way to build a Bitcoin layer two. This is going to be huge, man. This is going to be huge. This thing is only sitting at a 63 uh, million dollar mark cap, fully, uh, fully diluted, right? But again, I'm, I don't want to be that YouTuber to be because uh, again, I, I know the ins and out of how vested schedule is just because it's not FD, fully FDB doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, right? But your favorite YouTuber will tell you that. Okay, so I think this is going to be a sender. Um, 63 million dollar mark cap when you think about how huge Bitcoin could be. This right here could be the literally the hub for Bitcoin layer twos, right? So we're starting to see a lot of Bitcoin layer twos go up there. I think this thing goes parabolic, in my opinion, right? Um, not financial advice. All of these Bitcoin plays are high risk. All right, next token I want to talk about is Runes of Bridge. If you're part of the Patreon or the Telegram J5 channel, you are already in this, right? Because we talked about this on the Patreon. We talked about this in the J5 Telegram channel and why I'm extremely bullish on this project. It's looking to reset here. Hold on, hold on. We didn't get into the BVM um, chart. Chart looking good. All right, back to uh, Rooms Bridge. All right, Rooms Bridge, four-hour chart. Don't have much information. Guys, this is the wormhole of Bitcoin. This is the chain port of Bitcoin. This is the axolar of Bitcoin, right? This will allow tokens to 
bridge onto the Bitcoin network, right? How a bridge works, let's say if you were bridging from Ethereum to, to the Bitcoin network with Runes Bridge and what a lot of these bridges allow you to do is simply mint, right? Oh, excuse me. Burn the original tokens on the original bridge and remint them on the new chain, right? So, how, excuse me, let's, let's rephrase that, right? They burn the original tokens on the original chain and remint the same amount of tokens on the new chain, right? So technically that's what these bridges do. And this is the first, the first runes bridge. Not the first BRC20 bridge, but the first runes bridge. A lot of people are huge on this team, guys. This thing is sitting at $11 million market cap, 100 million to total supply, only 17 cent. This is going to be a absolutely, absolute sender if they execute right bridging mechanism to enhance you can already see that they're working with multiple chains already if we uh kind of like swing down here uh they are working with uh multiple chains and um i you can see here uh, they support ethereum um polygon bnb and a few other because it does says says uh, says etc i am big on this because it, and i'm gonna show you guys why right if we if we swing over here to let's say we go to wormhole right we go to just w right wormhole um you can see wormholes market cap is 1.1 billion right this is the uh this is the bridge that connects you um a lot of people use this bridge for solana um, um bridges right to expand expand to solana so let's say if you got a ETH token you can use wormhole to expand to um solana another huge bridge here would be uh axelar you can see axelar here um 692 million dollar market cap and when you swing over here to runes bridge guys this thing is only 11 million dollar market cap so still high risk right we want to know the securities though we know bridges bridges can be hacked right i think polka dot has a bridge as well we're going to talk about pbrc bit 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 boy crypto talking about no but back to runes bridge 11 million dollar market cap 17 million dollar fdv guys if this becomes the premier bridge to bridge these other chains to the Bitcoin ecosystem, this could be huge, right? This means your favorite meme coin, if it wants to become multi-chain, they'll probably most likely use Rooms Bridge if they want to make a Rooms pair, right? Uh, if, you know, your, your favorite utility token wants to have some of that Bitcoin exposure, right? They'll probably use Rooms Bridge if they want to make that Rooms pair. So I think that this could be this 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 could have something this this could definitely be something right don't 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 forget you know millie was the youtuber that told you about rules bridge when you look up one day and you're like what the heck this thing is on the same market cap as axl or 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 wormhole now of course guys high risk we are in a potential black swan event but i mean fortune favors the brave you got to be a little bit fearless if you're working to be successful inside the crypto market and speaking of one of the cryptocurrencies i was talk going to talk about today which is pups so what i also did was i looked at this exchange right i went to b5 labs guys and i said you know what what tokens are actually listed on this exchange here and i started researching one and, and, and these two caught my attention right pups caught my attention because it's similar to like welsh we know welsh is a meme coin but uh, if we swing over here i was looking at turt right turt is like uh the get coin of bitcoin right so this allows you to to raise capital raise um um liquidity for your meme coin or your utility project if you're building inside the bitcoin um ecosystem so i like turt because this is like the get coin of the bitcoin ecosystem right this they, they help you get grants and they help you build out your ecosystem if you're building on 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 um on btc but this meme coin kind of, you know, caught my attention because I like I like Welsh, but Welsh is in multi-chain. Pups is literally a meme coin on Bitcoin, but they have multiple pairs on Solana. So I'm I, I would assume that this this is going to be huge once once meme coins come around and once Bitcoin meme coins come around. It's only a forty nine million dollar market cap, fully diluted. Um, the supply is is scarce, guys. This is a scarcity token right here, right? Hyper scarcity scarcity token way less tokens than bitcoin and it's 63 bucks all right so you're paying um you you, you know you, you hey you, you know how i go you <laughs> you know fortune phase the break but i think that pups is going to be huge you can see that what we was just looking at is one of the only tokens in the top 200 that's actually green on the hour so um and a few few of them pop in there so we're seeing strength in the market pups is a meme coin on 
Bitcoin. Another meme coin on Bitcoin would be Welsh Corgi coin. So these are some meme coins. This is at a $45 million mark cap. This was the number one meme coin on B BTC for a while, but it's since been um, surpassed here by uh, by Pups. So uh, check out Pups. Check, check out Welsh if you're into meme coins, right? Because best believe there's going to be some super senders on Bitcoin, right? Inside the Bitcoin ecosystem. I like Pups. I like Welsh. All right, next token I want to talk about because Dex Tools is acting up here um, is a VLAR. VLAR is a liquidity provider, a AMM for Bitcoin. So let's say you, um, you're you looking to start a, a BRC20 token or a Runes protocol token, whatever, you know, you want to... Um, and you, you whatever whatever you know what I'm saying project you're you're working this working this start man and I, and again at the top you you know this kind of threw me off I didn't see this here but it says make this is the only official VLAR contract be aware of scams all right always make sure you're clicking on the right contract stop searching names and click on the contract that's how you officially find a token right because you'll find tokens that have a lot of the same names a lot of the same tickers but it's not the official token. VLAR, right? You can see here looking nice on the four hours, a rather new token. But there, if, if you guys um, follow base, right, and you know, you like Aerodrome and you like Velodrome, this is the Velodrome and Aerodrome of Bitcoin, right? It's a liquidity provider in AMM and allows you to provide liquidity for your token. So if you're doing any type of development on Bitcoin and you have a token, you're going to need a DeFi liquidity protocol, right? Any chain needs a DeFi liquidity protocol and i believe this is going to be one of the first movers right so they they also got a swap which is good right you can actually swap but soon they'll be providing a amm where you can uh pretty much uh add liquidity right a vlar liquidity protocol is on your gateway to launch and trade tokens on bitcoin blockchain and earn rewards by providing liquidity pools and the pool assets guys it, it's in it's absolutely insane for you to be bullish on Arrow, what, what, is, what is that? Y'all always in my comments. Look, this is come on, man. I mean, base is cool, but they don't have as much, you know, liquidity a, a, as Bitcoin, right? This is why you're early, right? Aerodrome Finance has been an ascender and it's currently sitting at a $287 million mark cap, up 179%. I'm pretty sure if we went to Uniswap or you, or, you know, and, and, and all these other liquidity providers, you can see insane, right? Insane market caps. But taking a look at a Velar here, it's only a, a $11 million mark cap. It is a 190 FDV, but it's a liquidity provider protocol. We we'll have to do more research on the vesting schedules. But yeah, go do your homework. Go do your homework. Don't don't rely on Millie to do the homework for you. I'm just pointing you in the right direction of the narrative, what how to find whoop de woop woop. So VLAR, no one's talking about this. No one's talking about none of these tokens, right? Because no one is really hip on what's to come for BTC. So again, I want to double down on this tweet. Guys, you can't scale, you cannot scale gold. And Bitcoin is literally digital gold, right? It's everything they want gold to become, right? But now with these layer twos and, and these DeFi protocols and these developers building and allowing Bitcoin to become more, this we didn't have this years ago, right? You couldn't build on, on top of Bitcoin. Only thing that Bitcoin was looked at was a store of value and the greatest asset to be a hedge to inflation right outside of gold now we got to start looking at bitcoin totally different because now we we can build on top of it and, and, and it's scalable guys if you got some alpha on this video i need 100 likes like subscribe hit that notification bell consider the discord the patreon and community project it's your boy crypto millie i'll see you in the next one